You have changed my life, Barry, and <laughs> and many other gastroenterologists' life. But more importantly, you have saved so many lives, so many young people who has been bothered by this disease, recurrent disease that they can never get rid of. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second James Best Distinguished Lecture. Thank you very much for joining us this evening at the second LKC Medicine's James Best Distinguished Lecture. We are honoured to have so many friends and colleagues and partners across different parts of the world participating in this event. And within 10 years of graduation, it made a Nobel Prize winning discovery. Again, I'm very honoured to present to you our speaker for this evening, Nobel Laureate Professor Barry Marshall. Uh, thank you very much for those kind words and um, it's my honour to uh, be here tonight. This is what I would say to the investors and the entrepreneurs, don't just focus on the end point, enjoy the ride. So you know, you've got an exciting idea, you, you've got this vision that you're going to cure cancer or something and you're trying to get there. So you, you've already got half of the value out of it, just imagining how great it's going to be when you get there. We will now move on to the Q&A segment to be chaired by Associate Professor Sunny Wong. So, how should we as medical educators teach our students, knowing that some of the things that we teach are actually wrong? How should we uh, put your, your philosophy and your adventure into medical education? Obviously, the scientific process and being able to evaluate data, understand statistics and realise that association is not causation. So you've got to just get everybody into this focused idea of data-driven, evidence-based. In medicine, it's got to be evidence-based. Professor Barry Marshall has changed the world uh, in his discovery of the cause and an effective treatment for stomach ulcers. Professor Barry Marshall has shown us the path towards the true knowledge of science and not just an illusion of knowledge. So believe in yourself and go for it. Thank you. I like to encourage people to be entrepreneurs and I say you don't have success every day. We have a few failures, we have a few successes and then I can look back on my failures and say I'd advise you not to do it this way that I did, yeah, that was a big mistake. Uh, do it this other way and, and watch out for these certain pitfalls. I'm really in my element here in Singapore and I'm so happy to be able to come and give the James Best Distinguished Lecture. 